Hi, everybody, and welcome to Best Podcast Ever, where three dudes you don't know talk about a hobby you've never heard of. This week, we decided to reprise our highly popular video game episodes. Yes, in which uh, we talk about a hobby you have heard of, and... Uh, Nobody Ke- cares about it. And also, though. Kevin's not here, so... <laughs> well, no, we have the uh, the dryer as our special guest star again. Yes, we do. We have Tumbling Kevin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, we've had female Kevins, so yes. we have Tumbling Kevin. So, this is just a little bit off that, so... Uh, we're going to jump right in with Kyle Petty's No Fear Racing, which we have talked about before, but we've never actually played on the show, so here we go. It'd be so much fun. Yeah. I wish I knew where the remote for this TV was. Uh, what do we want? Make it louder? <laughs> yeah, 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 you have to tap it. There you go. All right, here we go. Okay, now we have some sound effects. Yes, okay. I think this has a multiplayer. Let's find out. Single race. Qualify race. No, it does not have a multiplayer. Okay, so I'll just put this down then. Okay. <laughs> Mike, so, that's not an oval. No, it's not. Um, Who was his wait, sponsor back in the day? Mellow Yellow at this the, point. Then why is he no fear? <laughs> I don't know. So as you can hear, there's a really annoying track announcer that narrates the game. You cannot be Kyle Petty. But you can choose you sax. Can be, you can be forty three though, which yes. is <laughs> Bobby Hamilton at this time. Yeah. Um, most of these cars are roughly similar. I'm going to be Daryl Walter. I mean, seventeen. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, I guess I'm going to be twenty one. Oh, I'm going to be the ghost of Davy Allison. I guess Ernie Irvin was driving at this point. Um, sure. Ah, oh, all those automatic NASCARs. Yep. All right, here we go. I think this is supposed to be Dover, perhaps? Oh, my God. Why is the car going so far away? Goodbye, car. (laughs) We don't need you in the center of the frame or anything. No, no, not at all. Nitro. (laughs) This is amazing. (laughs) Yeah, four-wheel drift. All the corners are banked because NASCAR, even though... Was there a tire in the middle of the road? Yeah, those are power-ups. You... pick up tire nitro and fuel power-ups on the track you can also pit but i don't know how the pit stop works also we're racing in so much fog right now yeah it's so much fog and every oh the track is (laughs) under construction those were construction (laughs) barrels i was hitting i think i'm qualifying oh my god i just missed a nitro power-up also they made such a big deal about you being number 17 and I want to point out the car is The car is says zero, 60 or zero, zero. Zero, zero. Yeah. I know. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, Nitro's gone. So, if you go back, you're going to have to go into the um, edit history of the Wikipedia page for this uh, game to read some of the finest writing in the history of Wikipedia. Uh, a super fan of this game, or maybe a super hater of this game, I don't know, really. <laughs> Somebody who felt strongly about this game in some way. Somebody who decided it was very important that uh, we... <laughs> Gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> is that pointing to you as that's you? Yeah, because as you'll know, the car <laughs> next to me that's not me looks exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe out. It's, your car's doing backflips, Mike, so now it's on fire, sort of. <laughs> oh my god, the... We, we need to get a capture card, Mike, because everything about this is so majestic. <laughs> I know. How your, how your car is clearly a uh, sprite, but everything else is just part of the background. <laughs> it's clearly an FMV game. Yeah. <laughs> grindy, grindy, grindy. Track still under construction mid-race. Yeah. Other cars flying through the barriers because they're ghost cars. That makes sense. Is this what Kyle Petty sees when he goes to sleep? I think so. 28 takes the lead. That's me, by the way, 28. Oh, you're 28? Yeah. Tires! <laughs> so, trying to describe what the track looks like, all grandstands are the front stretch and of... totally empty. Yeah, but all grandstands at all racetracks are the front stretch of Indianapolis with the uh, double-deck grandstands with the roof, and all turns are banked to, like, 25 degrees. <laughs> but every track, even though it's a NASCAR game, and... In general, the tracks are named after places where NASCAR races. Uh, Most of those places in real life are ovals, and most of these are not. Uh, There's, like, a jump in the middle of the track where I think you're crossing over the track. 
I'm sorry, I love every time you hit the construction things that show up every lab. Yeah. Because somebody's putting them back yeah, up. Yeah, they respawn every lab. Uh, oh, oh no! <laughs> He's spinning your way into first lead! <laughs> oh, the, right. ti the tires are uh, not doing well, but I, I literally don't know how pit stops work in this game because I haven't. Are there pit stops or is it? Yeah, no. There, there is a sign that says pit. That's where you can pit. But I don't know what to do once you get there because it's one of those games where you have to mash buttons while you're in the pits to oh, cause you anything just, to like, happen. Roll through it. Yeah. So I am in danger of running out of fuel. I'm on the last lap, but uh, my tires are over, which means I'm going to start doing those spins at every turn. That's okay. You're out of everything now. All of your bars are low. <laughs> you're about halfway through the lap. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I didn't even know there was a. Uh, there's not a track map because that it's was just, too it's advanced. Just a, pro a reverse progress. Uh, yeah, bar. there's a progress bar for lap length. Oh no, I'm out of fuel. Oh no. <laughs> no. I'm waiting for the entire field to come get you. I like that the auto. <laughs> <laughs> the only person who gets in the you're gonna get pushed to the finish. Just keep keep having them hit you. Twenty-eight dungeon finish. Womp womp womp. Well, that was Kyle Petty's No Fear Racing. The best feature in this game is actually the track creator, uh, which is a little like Excite Bike for you NES uh, enthusiasts out there. Oh, custom track. This takes a long time, as you would expect. It's as much fun as building a slot car track in that you're never quite sure like if it's oh, going to line up. Oh, it's going to match up at the end. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, we could just. Oh, okay. So it is over under. I thought this was just going to be nightmare fuel. <laughs> no. Just make crisscross crash from the old. <laughs> Fortunately, there's only one radius. I take it back. There's only one radius, so. I guess you have to always be able you, to do it because it's essentially a 90 degree turn. Yeah, it's a 90 degree turn and the same radius every time. Oh my god, what? How do I start over? Because. <laughs> Just playing the worst game of Snake right now. Oh look, there's a limit to how many track segments you can use, and I've I've run out, and I'm nowhere near the end. Do, do, do. Oh my god. You know what? There's no undo, so you actually have to... Like, you draw a track by going in a direction. And you have you, to undo it. And you undo it by going the opposite direction, which is very disorienting. Hey, look at that. Oh, you managed to make one. I accidentally completed a lap. Now I'm going to press B so I can do track scenery. Okay, now I'd like to point out, and again, nobody can actually see what we're doing right now, but there's no fog on this screen. Right. When it's at one frame a second, then... Well, let's, let's talk about the music tracks, because you can choose what music track you want for your track. Do we want Pullin' 4Gs, which sounds like... Okay. Uh, do we want In Your Face? This is very Genesis-like music, uh, despite D being... Does this have a Genesis port? I'm Because this sounds like Genesis. It doesn't sound like Super Nintendo. Yeah. This is Turbo Jam. Yeah. Are those turbo boosters on your person, or are you just detrimental to slack car racing? This is the game, by the way, uh, that that arises from. Eat my dust! Speed zone! Too, Too cool, cool for, for you. you! Oh, man. The climate is snowy. <laughs> Why did the track turn blue? Because I changed it from sunny to snowy. Now... This is where it gets ridiculous. I have to use the left and right bumpers to move along the track. And then... Place objects? Yeah, but I can't place any objects here because I'm near the pit. So once I get away from the pit, I will be allowed to place an object. Oh. I don't know what that object is. It appears to be a beer can. <laughs> That's not even on the track. Oh, okay. So we're just placing scenery. Yeah, but you can also place the power-ups. Like, there's the tire power-up. Tires! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask the question that's on nobody's mind. Can you even save these? Yes. Oh, you can save. Good. Actually, I, was say, uh, I thought this work of art was going to be lost to the ages. You know what? I didn't place any scenery, so this is going to be a very difficult race. Let's see. <laughs> Custom track. How do you play it? That, that's a good question. I guess maybe I now have to go to single race. No, you can't save it because this game doesn't have a save function. It just has a password function. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Two laps on snowy custom track. Still better than the original figure eight at NJ Hobby. 
Yeah, this is probably more time than this game deserves, quite honestly. So yeah, why don't you uh, why don't you back out and we'll back find out and find something. Another, I mean, turn any, off the console better. and go through the drawer and find another <laughs> cartridge. Ignore the clicking sounds, those of you who are tech savvy. Yeah, we're definitely not just browsing a menu. Uh, <laughs> nope, no emulated games here. Oh my god. <laughs> The best racing game. Michael Andretti's IndyCar Challenge. I've actually never played this one. Uh, I bet you it's first... Uh, let's, let's make some predictions here. I bet you it's first-person view. Yeah, because it's I Super I bet Nintendo. you half the screen is menu, mm -hmm. and I bet you it's going to be the top. The driving will happen at the bottom. Yeah, and, then, yeah, and you're going to get this much driving. You're going to get like roughly 10% of the because screen. Because you're also going to have like the in-car dashboard taking up most yes. of the track portion. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, we basically just described Nigel Mansell's uh, F1 game, but let's see. This is probably the same era. I don't remember this game. I'm sure I rented it because it had Michael Idoy's name on it. Yeah, it's a fish tiger. Yep. That makes me get in the mood to want to race. Special it. thanks to Michael Andretti for his professional racing advice. Well, I hope his advice was stay the hell in IndyCar and don't <laughs> try an F1 career because you shouldn't. Oh. Oh, this is from the year he came back to cart because he's driving Chip Ganassi's uh, target car. <laughs> the opening to this is also majestic. I really hope we find a way to put Also, this next time the... you go to Target, ask them why they changed the name of their store to Andretti. <laughs> oh, it's also... Oh, the, my God! The car is sponsored... <laughs> oh, my God, I'm having a seizure! <laughs> One of the associate sponsors on Michael's uh, 94 Raynard is his son, Marco. Wow! Oh, did, I hope you heard that, folks at home. Wow! I've never played this, and it looks just awesome. All right, here we go. Oh, there he is. There's the man himself. Oh my God, that mullet! Rocking a mullet because it's 1994. Oh man, if this game has anything. Oh, memorable, this has a multiplayer mode. Oh, we're doing this. If this has anything memorable, that's gonna be a sure later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, as opposed to just his face. Uh, because the only place he appears in his Nintendo... Oh, look at this. These, these are actual tracks. Australia. <laughs> well, okay. I also want to point out <laughs> that they have the United States as this giant thing, and then Australia is roughly the size of, like, Kentucky. Yeah, and it also is next to Mexico. Well, it's in a box. It's in a box, but still, Australia is bigger than, like... It's yeah. a continent. <laughs> yeah, it is. Australia is almost as large as the United States, not counting Alaska, but... Um, all right, so here we have the 94 cart uh, schedule. Australia, Phoenix, Long Beach, Indianapolis. I'm surprised they're allowed to even mention. Uh, Milwaukee, Detroit. The track maps are somewhat accurate. Portland, Cleveland, Toronto, Michigan, Mid-Ohio, which is just called Ohio, even though Cleveland's also in Ohio. New Hampshire, Vancouver Street Circuit, Elkhart Lake, uh, Road America. Oh, Nazareth, look at that. And uh, finishing up the season of Laguna Seca. This is, uh, this is surprisingly uh, true to life. So let's try Road America. Okay, let's see what happens. Michael's advice. This long track has a little of everything. Run a medium downforce and keep an eye on your fuel. Don't stretch your fuel load too much or you could be stranded miles from the pit. That's true. Um, because, and as an added bonus, of course, it is dead uphill to the pits at Run America. <laughs> Next time we come to that guy's picture, I want to want to point out how they clearly had white in the color palette on the screen, but they didn't use it for his eyes. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I can't change what car I am. I can change my. Yeah. So there are three. Setup. There are three, four, five, five, five yeah. default setups you can choose from. Now. Michael told us to go for a medium downforce setup. Do you see any mention here of of such concepts of <laughs> downforce? I, maybe that's cornering. Well, cornering, yeah. So you, what you need here is a, a well balanced car. Is this I would a go one with, through five? Yeah, yeah I'm going to so go gonna with go Type for, C, I'm which go is for well C2 balanced because that... you have long straights at Road America, but you also do have a few high speed corners, so you need that grip. So here we go. Party on. It's going to be both of us figuring out the controls, too. Yep. I assume B is gas and Y is brake, because that's what Super Mario Kart was. Oh, player one is on the bottom? Oh, okay. I have control, I think. Uh, okay, you're wrong. No. Oh, okay, go. Y is go. That's, that's X for no, me. Y is reverse. X is go. Oh, my God. Why yeah, is there a reverse like a button? A is brake. Yes, A is brake. Wow, this is exciting. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everything caught on fire. 
Oh, I'm cutting Are the we grass. shifting? Oh, no, I, they're shifting I have, for us. I have cut the grass sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I hope you can hear this music at home, because, uh... Yeah, it's bitching. It, it is not... Qu oh, God! No fear. Oh, 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 no. Oh, hey, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I already cut that part of the grass, Mike. You don't have to do it. You know what? This game might be decent if um, I could get used to the controls. Hey, I passed it one, but it was only Brian. Yeah. I don't know what break is, actually. It's uh, whatever's below the thing. So that's A, it's yeah. A, yeah. But you the can break... tell Brian was a Genesis child. Yeah, the, the break is like an on-off switch, though. Just, uh, just tap acceleration when you're going around the turn. It's like Mario Kart. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that worked. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hey, look, we caught another car. I don't know who that is, but he doesn't count towards the standings. <laughs> He's lapped, even though we're still on the first lap. Oh, my God. What is... I just ran straight into Brian's gearbox. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> and that caused both of us to stop, because that's how driving works. <laughs> well, it's no fault racing. I wonder if drafting is an effect. Brian said bouncing off the wall, making the <laughs> mic left. Hey, yeah, now that we're getting a handle on the controls, this isn't that bad. This reminds me of uh, F1 Rock. Which is also on Super Nintendo. Rock standing for a race of champions. So there's five laps. There's clearly a fuel gauge. Do you think we'll need to pit? Uh, well, as Mikey said, oh, turn five at Road America is a difficult corner, even on Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh, I just realized there's a progress bar in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I just noticed it, too. All right. Okay, I need to stop looking at other things and make jokes, because that's what we're here for. Here's the carousel. Oh, wow. I just came to a full stop by turning too hard into the carousel. So, if you've ever played Road America on an actual racing sim like Forza, trying to translate your knowledge of that to this is crazy. Uh, and if you know the track just from watching races, also, no, just forget it. You know what, this actually looks like a Mario Kart, a Super Mario Kart layout, because it's just mode it's 7 totally fantastic. It's totally flat, yeah. Everything's flat, it's just things scale towards you. Oh, here's here's the pit. I'm going to try pitting and see what happens. I'm going to... Oh. oh! Oh, no! <laughs> So here's the thing, I tried not to pit, and my car disagreed. <laughs> I don't know if this is a game where you have to do something in the pits. No, it looks like it's just doing it. Oh, look at that, they, they show you the pace car as you exit the pits. Just in case you wondered, is there a pace car? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, even though you had a standing start to the race. So, also, like, I get them wanting to show... Like, you need to pit in races and all that, but in a five-lap race, you wouldn't need to go anywhere near the pit. No, I mean, Road America is four miles around. A typical Indy car race is 200 miles, so they would run 50 laps, and they would usually pit twice. In the cart days, now they pit more because they carry less fuel. Because it's lighter? Uh, yeah, but Also, I have these pace cars <laughs> <laughs> stopping me from reaching Mike. Oh, yeah, you know what? So, see, it shows that I'm first, by the way, so we're only racing each other. Yeah. The other the other cars are just there to get in the way. Which, by the way, doing a bang up job because look at them. Oh wow! Look at that. They're like, what am I on the highway? Get out of the way! Yeah, they're. Oh wow. I'm. I am so insulated from you by them that I can actually watch what they're doing to you <laughs> instead of racing. I actually got past them. Was that like? Is that the idea? Was that the? Another oh, no, coming back. Ah. Uh. You folks at home who can't physically see this, is this exciting? <laughs> we have a whole other lap to go. I know, and I hope I catch you so it actually is interesting for Brian. What's crazy is that according to the progress bar, we're together, but I... And oh, there you oh, are. Oh, there, yeah, there well, you are. Well, I was too busy sucking, and then I... <laughs> okay. Down the long run to turn five. Let's hope I don't forget about it. I don't know, is there some, is, can somebody jingle some keys oh, in front of Mike? Oh, hey, there's a turn there. Damn it. <laughs> I just, uh, Alex Barron did that turn. I think that's who I'm making it. Why are you going so much faster than me? We have the same car. Because my car is Michael Andretti's car. Oh my <laughs> god. I thought I T-boned you. By the way, I mean, because this is the kind of thing I think of, I cannot think of a car from the 1994 season that looked like your car, so I don't know who you're supposed to be. Um, I don't know, a couple crayons. Yeah. Uh, it's also interesting that I'm not a blue car. Yeah, since that's the opposite of a red car. Yeah. You should have been a blue car, because then you could have been uh, Jacques Villeneuve. I, I like how the the programmers of the game are the sponsor Oh, here. we're right here. Oh, did I hit you? Oh, we're right here. How this is it. Coming down to the line. I cannot see you. Brian's gonna win it. 
after all that. Oh, oh no, we have another lap to go. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have enough fuel to get around the track? We will find out. Mikey will wag his finger at us if we can't make it. I don't oh think. My oh god. my god. My tires are not feeling so good. Maybe we should have stopped. <laughs> Bumper cars, man. By the way, there is no damage indicator, so I have no way of knowing anything about my car other than that the fuel is definitely going to be a question mark, yeah. actually. Oh, oh, god. oh my god. <laughs> well, you slowed me down for the turn, Mike. Yeah, I like how when you hit someone, you stop, because the responsible thing to do when you hit someone is to stop and call the police. So <laughs> That's right, block them! Block them! Oh my god, the blocker car <laughs> just is, came out of nowhere. Yeah, and is running at about 80 miles an hour because that's how fast I was going when I ran into him. <laughs> uh, I'm getting told by a magic voice to refuel? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ghost of Chip Ganassi is also telling me to refuel. Oh, that's Chip Ganassi? Uh, it doesn't sound like him, but I am driving his car. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, turn, turn, turn. turn. Maybe. Perhaps perhaps that's supposed to represent Mo Nunn, who is the... Uh, uh, my car's on fire. You're just bottoming. Well, you're going to make it. I'm not. Oh, oh I finished. I, I am going to make Yay, it. Yay, I finished. I am going to make it because the hill up to the finish line of Road America is not represented in Road 7 land, so... <laughs> that is a surprisingly good game. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, actually. Lose, Lose win. Lose win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't bad for a game I'd never played. The menus actually are pretty cool. Oh, um, man. Sweet, so. sweet Prince, you will be us t-shirt soon. Yes. All oh, right. you changed our names. So we're going to move on. Let's see what else we can find here. Oh, my God. Um, oh, yeah, we start all the way at the top. Good. No, it doesn't. There we go. Uh... <laughs> Newman Haas IndyCar featuring Nigel Mansell. Okay. <laughs> when I tell you, and it's, I think, hard for people to believe because it sound, now seems a lifetime ago, when I tell you that people cared about IndyCar racing in the mid-'90s, here are two games from the same season featuring two different drivers, Michael Andretti, who had just come back from Formula 1, and Nigel Mansell, who had taken oh, God, his seat. Oh, God, the kiss of we have a claim. Yeah, yeah. Nigel Mansell, who had taken his seat at Newman Haas uh, when he went to Formula 1. Uh... Oh, Yay! There he is. Yay! <laughs> this makes me so happy. Oh my god. It's horrible because I'm the one who edits now, and I'm gonna have to find all of these screen grabs. <laughs> yep. Uh, how many? Oh, change players. One player split. Two, Two player. players. Yay! Play Fun mode. Effects. SFX as opposed to what? Oh, and music. Oh, too bad you can't have just music. All right. <laughs> Do we want to do the full season? No, we do not. No. Single race. Oh, look, they're showing us Red America, too. Apparently, that's the only track that existed. Oh, no, we get to pick. Oh, look, we oh, have look, the full season have here. Australia. Now Australia is in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Surfer's Paradise. Laguna City. Oh, I'm going backwards. Let's do Nazareth for all time's sake. Okay. Racing here is fast and furious with blind corners that are dangerous. And keep the drivers on their toes. Is this where Vin Diesel wanted to do all those movies from? <laughs> Should I exit or cancel? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hit start? I'm going to hit exit. Oh, okay. Music and sex. Dashboard. Control. Name entry. Miles per hour. Yes, please? I, I don't know. What? Auto? What the hell's going on? Oh, you can choose your gearbox. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to rub. <laughs> I do like that in the days of password and name entry screens, they wanted to say backspace, but they couldn't fit that, so they would put rub, because that's how this works. Uh, the first race is who can type their name faster. I'm not even putting in my name. No. <laughs> uh, I guess i go back to exit. Yep. Newman Haas Racing. Oh, we're both Newman Haas, okay. Oh, you poor woman. <laughs> I, I want to know... You poor, poor woman. I, we have to put a screenshot of this up uh, and hope that this person is listening. The soulless Who eyes. is the grid girl in Nigel Mansell's IndyCar Challenge. Say, say the name of the race multiple times, this way I know what game to look up. <laughs> yeah, so this is Nigel Mansell's Newman Haas IndyCar Challenge or something. 1994, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, I Let's, think we're just gonna yeah, race. Just go to race. We're not gonna practice, Brian. Practice makes perfect. Oh, fake names. <laughs> De Lucha, Blade, Franklin, BTE2, yeah. and Mike. Cool. All right. How come we've left the number? Race. <laughs> Way to go. Um, oh, oh god. My god. I, now I'm gonna say B U go and Y is stop because that's. Um, I mean, when it lets us actually... When the race starts, I guess we're doing a full pace lap. Go for it. No. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? It's uh, it's X again. You know what? This might be an emulation issue rather than a... A what issue? I mean... <laughs> wow, the sense of speed in this game is actually decent. Oh, God. How do we keep finding games that are better than the ones we have? I like how there are telephone poles alongside the track. Now, we used to go to Nazareth Speedway every year when I was a kid. I don't remember that particular feature. Okay, I'd also like to point out that the positions on the track right now are first Mike, second Brian, and one up. One up meaning player one, which is Brian. Well, no. One up, I think it's like... One up is me, and two up is you. No, you're, you're first. No, I'm not. I'm about to get lapped. If you look, I'm one up is ahead of first because oh, I'm about okay. to get lapped, and then two up is. Oh back there. man! Okay. You know why? Because I forgot that I had chosen manual, and I was in third gear that whole time. Okay, I, I'm in very much non-manual. I'm just trying to get through traffic right now, which is a nightmare. Well, that is that is short track racing in Indy cars, especially back in these days, because the slow cars were actually slower than the fast cars. <laughs> This is another surprisingly well handled. I'm used to racing games from this era just being absolute poop or Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, this actually isn't bad. I mean, I haven't seen another car because I'm so far behind. Oh my god, trust me, once you see them, all you want them to do is to leave forever. Dump, 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 dump. Nine! Dump, 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 dump. Apparently, I can hit them as much as I want. Ten. I like that I'm running, by the way, 243 miles an hour around a one-mile oval. Uh, <laughs> totally flat track. Oh, my God. I have not seen another car, by the way, since the start. <laughs> That's okay. Like, I'm five laps left. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad this one has no fuel, though. Yeah. I'm having a hard enough time with the... Well, because we had it in... Uh, I put it on arcade mode. I guess in sim mode there would be damage and yeah. fuel to think about. Trust me, right about now, if, if this had, like, damage to it... Oh, no! Okay, so, just for the folks at home who can't see this, this is a first-person game. Yeah, this is the game I described. <laughs> first-person game... Actually, well, the... Yeah, because the Andretti game was third-person. Uh, first-person, hands and steering wheel at the bottom... For some reason, I'm always making a slight right turn with my hands. I guess, well, because you're counteracting the fact that the car is weight biased to the left for an oval, obviously. Yes. That's something they thought of, right? Yeah. I'm pulling away from the leader who's still behind me, but I am not... I still have not seen another car, and it's not giving me an interval to the car ahead of me. I'm just looking on the track map and seeing that I'm farther from being lapped than I had been. <laughs> I'm in position 8, so there's got to be other people around here. Yeah, I mean, there's three cars between you and me because I'm still 12. I gotta say, the weak point of this game, though, is the music. Yeah. It's like human music. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> the game, sa I mean, the music in game sounds like menu music. Like, this should be the menu music. <laughs> is that why they're like, the option to turn music was off? They were just ashamed of it? Yeah, I'm sure they didn't try very hard on music. The sound effects aren't bad. The sound effects aren't bad. I mean, there's a little bit of echoey going on because there's two cars on the screen right now. Right. I would say overall this is a decent arcade racer. Uh, I, mean, I was really expecting to find some pretty terrible games, and I am pleasantly surprised. This is much better than... Uh, oh, I finished. Oh, they're waiting until I finish. This is much better, actually, than the Nigel Mansell F1 games that Game Tech did. Uh, did you catch who made this one? Uh, no. I'm sure it'll tell us, though. See, this is even better race music than what we were just yeah. doing. So that was, uh... Hard, hard luck. luck. Oh my god, I can't believe I have to find all these images, but I have to. And you're not going to, that's the sad part. Uh, I can capture. Yeah. So, that was uh, Nigel Mantle's IndyCar Challenge featuring Newman Haas. Shall I, we see what else there is? Yeah, back out and see what, see what else we have going here. Uh, there's Nigel Mansell's World Championship. We've covered that yeah. before. 
Oscar. One of my cats has a game. Uh, oh, Pilot Wings. If only you were a racing game, Pilot Wings, because we could have a lot of fun with Pilot Wings. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm having a surprising amount of fun just going in random indie car games. Yeah. I wonder what other ones are... <laughs> Campbell Panic. Um... Yeah, you know what? Let's jump to A because, well, it's a terrible game, but we can try. You know, you can hit like yeah. yeah. Since we've dealt with uh, Alan Sir Jr.'s Turbo Racing, this is technically the sequel. It's not very good, but we'll get to it. Alan Sir Jr.'s Road to the Top. Good. I don't know that this is going to have a multiplayer because this is a attempt at a game with a career mode. Mm. The idea here is that you start in carts, like go-karts, and then work your way up through snowmobiles because reasons. <laughs> IROC, which doesn't make any sense because you would get to IROC by winning in another series. Yeah. And then eventually you get to race into cars. Here but, he comes! Oh! Uh, by the way, a worse likeness of him than there is in his NES game several years earlier. Uh, somebody found out how to digitize photos and they got lazy. Yeah, because NBA Jam had already happened. So. Yeah. One player practice medium sound effects. Oh, two player, perfect. Easy. Good. Oh. Okay, our options are password, practice, which I guess is just an arcade mode and road to the top which is the career mode let's practice let's just practice yeah do we want to race go-karts snowmobiles irox <laughs> or indie cars why is it possessive I don't know well let's do indie cars we're skipping to the top do we want to race at oh Delta God. Speedway which is hexagonal for reasons and the finish line is on the shortest leg of the track Cage GP 300, Valhalla 150. <laughs> uh, I'd also like to point out to everyone, we're not adjusting the volume on this. It's no. just coming in and out. That's actually, that's the HDMI hookup on my TV. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that happens, but it happens. All right, well, let's just get this over with because this game is not very good anyway. Again, we can choose which car we want instead of choosing a the setup. The same car in three different paint jobs, really. Yeah. I guess I'll choose the balanced one. Oh, I have to pick, don't I? Yeah. I'm going to go for top speed. Oh, well, that's an actual a, good picture. Well, in a manner of speaking. At 200 plus, everything will fly by you. Practice passing and turning at high speeds because it only gets harder. Oh, this game is so bad. Oh my god, oh my god! Yeah, this is more... Oh, I was watching you. Uh... It's amazing that this game and the first one we played can exist on the same console. Yeah, or really any of these. Three. I mean, the first two we played were decent. This is close, yeah, I mean, spiritually, this is close to the first one we played in that it's a third-person game. But I mean, everything right now is wrong. Yeah, the handling is ungodly. Like, I don't understand even what's happening. I don't know what motor this is supposed to be. <laughs> it's the screams of children. Yeah, I mean, these sound like... These sound like um, effects that you hear in the cutscenes of Earthbound, by the way. This doesn't sound like anything a race car sounds like. Also, this car that's designed to block me is blocking <laughs> me very successfully, even though it's not taking a racing line to do so. <laughs> I hate you, purple car. I do not understand. Like, I, my car just keeps stopping for no reason. I hate you, purple car. I have no concept of even what's going on. This is why nobody played racing games until the PS2. Yeah, racing games really, once upon a time, were terrible. Although we just played two decent ones, and yeah. I, again, we those were very much exceptions. Yeah, those were quite promising. Like, you would think, hey, maybe racing games... Oh, my God. You know what? I can't even do this. I can't do it. Can let's, oh, let's move I don't on. have the power to... To exit the game. Let's move on instead of wasting time on that. Let's see what else we can find. We could move outside the realm of, of Super Nintendo, I suppose. Yeah, no, there's plenty of systems here. Um, what about TurboGraph? Because there's we never. I don't never... even know what's on there. Yeah. You mean PC Engine? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it. Let's see if we can identify. That's obviously a racing game. Champions Forever Boxing. I'm going to say is not. 
I saw Cup. That's a tennis game. <laughs> Final Lap Twin. That sounds promising. Okay, let's try that. Final Lap was an arcade cabinet that I remember existing. It was like a worse version of... Push run button. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, do we want to do Formula 3000 or are we ready for Formula 1? Uh, I think you gotta go to two players. Two players? Oh wow, okay. this menu is something else. Okay. We're doing Formula 1. Also, one of these images is not like the other. I saw that, yes. There were two images of cars and one of a little girl <laughs> looking over a fence. I've entered my name as Ass because that's how you play games. Uh, Brian is going to do something even more obscene. <laughs> All right. What the fuck? Oh, we have to pick point at which one we want. I'm so, do I want 600 or 700 horsepower? Because it's not giving me any other. <laughs> well, those top two are automatic, and the bottom two are manual. But why wouldn't you want the 700 horsepower one? I don't know. Maybe it handles worse. I did not that they're mentioning. Yeah, it doesn't tell you any other facts about the car. I'm going to pick the same one. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the in, in this particular uh, emulation, your top buttons turn your turbo on and off. By the way, you're the top screen. Oh, I see. Oh, God. Okay, so this is familiar. What's going across the bottom? <laughs> oh, so we have the overscan. Yeah. Yeah, it says overscan. It's very distracting when you're down here. Don't hit the signs, trust me. <laughs> wow, this game you is... You get covered like... in the safety foam from, uh... <laughs> what's that one movie with Stallone in it? Uh, you know what, I'm about done here. I think we've made our point. <laughs> oh, because I had the turbo turned on, so I was essentially rapidly tapping the gas <laughs> yeah. instead of driving. Put in the turbo and turbo graphics. Oh, you just whizzed by me. 23rd! You know what, this game might be okay, except for the fact that the name of this race is America and we're clearly on Fuji Speedway, which is in Japan. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Mike, they never would have just rebadged re a, uh, a game, right? Okay, whatever that is at the bottom of the screen, and that's something you folks are not going to be able to see at home because I'm sure I won't be able to get a shot of it. Right, that's very is, distracting. Ugh. What is that? Is that good? Is that bad? I just finished a lap. That's what oh. that was. 24. Oh, no. 23. I think this is the... Now that I'm thinking about it, I think Final Lap is the sequel to Pole Position. Because if you look at this, it looks, looks a lot like Pole Position. It, yeah, I guess. It drives like it, too. I, I've never played a Pole Position without the wheel before, so... Yeah... So if you think of this as a port of an early arcade game, this isn't too bad. Yeah. There's just a lot of, like, racing game-isms going on here for me, like... Well, the blatant rubber banding, for one thing. <laughs> no, I'm nowhere near yet. I know you're not. You're, like, half a lap behind. Yeah, I'm also, ten, like, 12 laps under you, or 12 positions under you. Oh, for fuck's sake. You have gotten the controls of this game a lot quicker than I have. I can't figure out what break is. I'm just going for it. <laughs> <laughs> just just let go of the, the throttle, really. I should just turn turbo on when I get near the corners, actually. I mean, that, that's a more advanced method of the tap method I had earlier. Yeah, that's what I mean. It so feathers the throttle for me. Yeah, that's actually... Wow. It's I'm working. smart. Yeah. It's working quite well. I mean, I'm in 17th place now, so rubber banding might be a thing. Yeah, there's... I mean... Yeah, the, the CPU cars are just moving at a determined speed that then slows down if they think you might be getting bored not seeing any other cars. Which, in fairness, the best game we've played just now... Well, I, I finished in the points. Sixth. The best so, game we've played in this bout of madness... Um, I guess would be the Nigel Mansell game, and it didn't have any rubber banding whatsoever, which got a little bit annoying when I fell behind. Here. But So that was that. Okay, well, I think we got one more in us. We've been doing this for about yeah, 40, 40 minutes, minutes. Uh, and that's already a whole bunch of things I have to go online and find images of. Yep. Let us see if I can find on Super Nintendo 
F1 Racing Champions. The problem is it might have been released under a different title originally, and it might be filed under that, because I have not seen it here before, but let's see. Jump to letter F, and I... Uh, F1, uh, F1 Rock, Rock, there it is. Oh. There, there's a, a sequel as well. Yeah, the sequel actually... What I was about to say, this game has one of the best setup features. Again, it's just mode seven fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's, it looks a little like F Zero. Can I join in? No. Oh, okay. I think this is a one player game. Rev, 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 rev. As. Right, anyway, so that's what name entry is. Like, yeah. Oh my god. Oh no! Okay, I didn't enter a name. We're gonna do training. I just wanna take a look at the setup menu here. I was gonna say, these are all like the things in the Super International 18 that AFX sells. Well, right yeah, these, these are the tracks that were on the schedule in the mid 90s. Um, let's do Hockenheim because it'll be the easiest. Because it's the old Hockenheim. Germany, yes, no. Track spinning away. Goodbye, track, goodbye. Oh, here we go with the setup. Now, you're going to miss out on this, but what's going to happen here is that in the setup screen, things actually get done on the car, which if you were nine years old when this game came out as I was, this was very cool because it was like you were actually working on the car. So I'm going to move up the menu, and they're going to take things off the car to do what I need to do. Let me buy an engine so I can force them to change the engine. So everything that needs to come off for the engine to come off comes off. In goes the new engine, and you know, the gearbox, the diffuser, the brakes. I'd also like to point out that that's not a Ford engine. It is a Foro. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I had a JAD V8. Uh, now I have a Foro V8. I could also get an Ilmoa V10 or a Renart V10. Those are the choices. Um, Spare. <laughs> Large diffuser. In goes the diffuser. Why do they keep changing the front? <laughs> yeah, the front suspension has to come apart every time. I don't know why. Somebody just likes that front suspension. Yeah. Is that a battery? That's nitro. Oh! Because <laughs> every car has nitro. And there goes the body Is work. Is Flamingo racing an analog for Camel? Camel, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean, the car looks like the Williams of the early 90s. Except it says Flamingo, or I should say Camel. The blue light comes on and the race begins. Oh, A is going this one. So what was B? Oh, B was Nitro. I just burned up all my Nitro. This is a very high camp third person game with all the mode seven. Yeah, this is this is like battle mode on Super Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> Na, 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 na. <laughs> so that's F1 Rock. F1 Rock 2, which we might as well take a peek at, uh, introduces an RPG element where you actually have to send your engineers back to the lab to develop the new parts. Yeah. So let's just see if we can quickly get to where the engineer is. No, my name. Oh yeah, you have to do group C first before they allow you to do F1. But the tra the real tracks are gone. We're going to Moon City. Because again, F0, the gold standard of Super Nintendo racing games. So let's just have Mode 7 Tastic. Look at this. This looks oh like Oh my F0. god. <laughs> Why is it a little vibrating car? <laughs> This is like, it looks like an RC car. Yeah, it looks like F-Zero. This game looks exactly like F-Zero. Oh, wow. Like, exactly. <laughs> Except now, I'm driving w what is kind of a Sauber Mercedes uh, Group C car. Which has no reality to the track, mind you. Yeah. I wish, I wish my tires had more friction in reality. <laughs> on this mortal plane. <laughs> yeah, no, this is F-Zero. I mean, I'm just floating along. Final lap. Oh, man. Okay, so... All right, well, we're not going to get to the setup. There's one yeah. thing I want to show you, Mike, yes. because you were a Super Nintendo guy. You did not have a Sega Genesis. Right, so let, me, let me see that. 
So we're gonna pull out a Genesis. We're game. gonna pull out a Genesis game. I'm gonna have to. Okay, so I am going to edit this, Mike, but I'm going to task you with making a technical difficulties slide <laughs> to put here. <laughs> I don't understand these games. All right, they're in alpha order now, so I'm just gonna have to scroll. Hey, Virtua Racing. There we are. Okay, cool. So it's one player. Brian will be the one player playing a Genesis game with a Super NES controller because I don't have a USB Genesis controller at the moment. So good luck with all that. Oh my god. <laughs> Virtual Racing. Let's see how many frames we get. Literally several. This was such a good arcade cabinet, too. So let's, let's just knock beginner real quick. Okay, so take note of how the, the pit crew looks, how, how square my tires are. Yes. How one of them fell over. <laughs> wow. Ba -da, ba -da. So what they did is, and like I said, I'm definitely going to put an image up on the screen of what the virtual racing cartridge looks like. It's about twice as tall of any other. Oh my god. Oh, so was it like the Super Nintendo carts that had the FX chip in them? Yes, but those still look like normal carts. I know what you're talking about. We have a couple Genesis cards that are the tall carts. They're weird. This is going to be the weirdest. Because we had uh, Bubsy on one of those. Yep. So this is what it looks like here. And to save ourselves a lot of time, the Sega 32X was a thing. Yes, it was. Which is over here. Game Gear. Super Nintendo. There it Yay. is. So the 32X was the last gasp of the... Genesis. Yes. Yes, we get it. We're out of time. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Dryer. <laughs> oh, well, this is significantly better. Still running on the Genesis, technically. Yeah. With a co-processor, I guess. Where's my axle? <laughs> <laughs> now look at that. Yeah. Mm, deluxe. Well, this is a little better. And we have multiple cars now. Oh, hey, look at that. Big forest. So this is what the Sega folks got to play with back in the day. So the idea of having to pay however much I paid for a 32X to play this. Yeah, that's like, somebody should get slapped. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, this doesn't look that different from the Genesis one. Yeah. The menus looked a lot better, How but the gameplay doesn't you look. don't say. I like the sign for cerebral palsy that you just went under. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they knew what no, they had button. done. There's no, oh, there we go, there's the button to make it look better. Yeah, we have the high third person view. I like how you chose stock cars and now you're racing against the prototype car. That was one of the other options. Well, I mean, oh, there's the big draw. This is the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel. Also, I love the mini map that turns when I do. Yeah. Well, so you don't become disoriented. Yeah, that's gonna disorient me in this game. Yeah. I like the extended music that happens when you finish a lap, and then there's no music while you're driving. <laughs> Pretty much. So that that's the last one I wanted to show off. Oh god. Yeah, I think we can probably leave it at that. So that's climbing. that'll be, and I promise, folks, the last video game episode I let us make without a capture card. Yeah, because it. I yeah, you really should be seeing this stuff. I mean. But, you know. I don't know. I have I have 51 minutes here. We'll edit it down a little bit to mercifully. Yeah. Well, we can cut out the, the 20 away. minutes of looking for games. <laughs> so. uh, good thing, again, this is totally audio, so I'm going to have to do that yep. by ear as opposed to just, oh, here's the new menu. And now you'll know why it's annoying to edit these. You didn't edit any of these. <laughs> yeah, you'll know why I didn't. <laughs> right. Uh, everybody, we'll be back in a, a certain amount of time. I'm sure we'll find a way to do podcasts. Yeah, so when this episode drops, we will have just started our season. So we'll, we'll work them in. Uh, you know, we might have to do some shorter episodes here and there, but we'll figure something out. All right, as always, folks, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you comment, we've been known to make entire episodes over a fan comment. So please, say something that won't get flagged by the spam <laughs> filter yes that's right and uh go on down to uh the description and buy some stuff if, so, if people actually start buying those shirts we will be able to buy kevin the missing member a computer yes and he might actually be able to write some scripts yeah that's true <laughs> 
right? Bye, everyone.